Hey guys, I'm Rehne and in this video I'm gonna talk about constraint layout and uh, I'm gonna show you why I love constraint layout. Let's start. Okay, a constraint layout is a layout, an Android that gives you adaptable and fixable ways to create views for your app. Constraint layout, which is now the default layout in Android Studio, gives you many ways to place objects. You can constrain them to their container, to each other, or to guidelines. And about this mini course, uh, I will try to cover important things related to constraint layout in two or maybe three videos. In the last video, also, we will done a project with concert light. And the main and important question, what is concert light? Concert light allows you to create a large and complex layout with a flat view hierarchy and uh, I mean, no nested view groups. It's similar to relative layout in that all views are laid out according to relationships between sibling views and the parent layouts. But it's so, so uh, flexible uh, than a relative layout and easier to use with Android Studio's uh, layout editor. The most power of constant load is available directly from the layout editor's visual tools because uh, the layout API and the layout editor were specially built for each other. So you can build your layout with constraint layout entirely by drag and dropping instead of editing XML. To define a view's position in constraint layout, you must add at least one horizontal and one vertical constraint for the view. Each constraint represents a connection or alignment to another view, the parent's layout or an invisible guideline. Uh, each constraint defines uh, the view's position along either the vertical or horizontal axis. So, each view must have a minimum of one constraint for each axis, but often more are necessary. When you drop a view into layout editor, it stays where you leave it, even if it has no constraint. However, this is only make editing easier. If a view has no constraint, when you run your layout on a device, uh, it's drawn at position 0, 0. I mean, uh, the top left corner. In the last slide, I want to tell you some advantages about constraint layout. One of the advantages of constraint layout is that you can animate the views very easily uh, with using very little code. And the second one, you can build your complete layout with simple drag and drop on the Android Studio Design Editor. And the next, you can control what happens to a group of widgets through a single line of code. And the last advantage, constraint layout improve performance over other layouts. And uh, now, uh, here I have a new project uh, in Android Studio and I will show you how we can work with constraint layout. First of all, I want to tell you something about the design mode. In the Android Studio design and blueprint mode, the layout design can be viewed. I mean here. You can see. 
you can enable any mode or both together according to your requirements. The Bulu mode uh, portrays a simplified outline view of our UI. This is particularly useful when it comes to editing the spacing and the proportion of complex layout without the distraction of content. I will enable both of them, I mean uh, this option, for helping you to understand constant layout for this tutorial. Let's drag a text view element in the constant layout visual editor and after dragging you will get an uh, error. Here you can see this view is not constrained. So this simply means the view we created is not constrained and we need to fix it. If we don't fix it, the view won't render probably when it will run in app. Now I hover around the, our text view and you can see Uh, you can see different points which can be called as handles or anchor points and you can click on any handle and drag it to make connection with something else around it for example i want connection with top of parent and uh, okay and here you can see when you hover uh, some handle it turns to a blue circular outline you can see here i want to connect with end of and here start of our parents and here you can see the error is gone Okay, I need to uh, say something important. You need to make at least two connections of handles with something else in horizontal or vertical. Here you can see I have three connections and my error is gone. Now I want uh, to Describe this part, attribute window for constant load. Here we can see a lot of detail about our view and uh, add some uh, attribute specific for constant load. And you can see this part. And here you can see our element, how is connection with uh, something or with other elements and about this part it shows uh, the margin set for each side of our view it also allows to change the size of the view by toggling between uh, the following modes here i mean uh, this icon means wrap content and if I change it, you can see wrap content. And if I change it, uh, this means, this icon means fixed size. This uh, allows us to set constant white and height. Here we can see set uh, 19 dp for fixed size. And we have another option here you can see this is similar to match parents this icon means match parents okay you can see here yeah okay also i want to add this view here and you can see zero uh, DP that means I said match parents you can see 
and I want to change it to wrap content. Okay. And again, connect my element to bottom of uh, my parent. And, and now I want to show you uh, how we can delete a constraint. There's two ways. Uh, the first way you can select, you can see uh, it turns to bold and then press uh, delete key and keyboard. You can see. And also, yes, set again. And also, we can delete from this icon. You can see. Delete top constraint. Yes, I want to delete this one. Also now, I want to show you some other tools related to constraint load. Okay, here you can see some tools for constraint load. You can clear all your constraints. Uh, I mean, delete all constraints in uh, one bottom and uh, there is another uh, bottom for infer uh, constraint. And uh, infer constraint to automatic figure out the constraint for all the view on a screen. Here you can see if I use this bottom set a uh, connection for me automatically and if I want to delete all this connection just need press this button yes here you can see there is no constraint for my element okay um, I want to show you another things about this part of our attribute window here you can see um, with this part we can set margin for our elements uh, here you can see uh, the margin set zero and if I want to set a margin top for my elements uh, just need to choose one of these number or uh, put my uh, my own number for example here you can see our top margin sets and also we can set a margin uh, from the left side I want to set on uh, 32 yes you can see here and now I want to show you uh, in XML how we can set our constraint for our elements. Now I want to set this element center of my layout. So I want to set top of top of my parent and end of my parent start start of my parent and also bottom bottom of my parent um, and so simple also we use all of this tag in our project and the last part of this mini series course and show you how we can set our elements uh, in complex UI. I think uh, that all is good for the first video. I will cover other things in the next video. If you like my video, then please leave my comments, like my video, and also please subscribe my channel and press bell icon for the latest update. See you soon.